It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at Overtone Brewing Company's Pale Enigma. 440 can coming in at 6% ABV. Big fan of this Scottish company, this Scottish brewery. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. A beer in the glass then. So using the Enigma hop. In this beer. Created a lovely head. We're going to be pairing it with Bert's British hand cooked potato chips, Devon roast beef. In a moment, that should be pretty cool. Beef, crisps, and beer. Can't beat it, can you, eh? Uh, so we got a slightly hazy amber coloured beer, good levels of carbonation. We got a three to four finger white head there. Let's get the aroma. Oh, first of all, have a look at that. So I wash the beer on. Look at the quality there on that liquid. Aroma. Oh, smells good. Slightly catty. Grapefruit, lemon peel. Pineapple. It smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. A really nice taste in beer. It's quite jammy, it's quite tart like grapefruit comes through. Some a touch of mango. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, biscuity bready notes coming through and you can see it's a bottle or a can conditioned beer should I say. A little bit of sediment there in the bottom of the glass. I really want to show you the camera doesn't want to focus but I'm going to make it. There you go, can you see that sediment? Nice. 2019 hazy style beer then. There might be some rye in this beer. There's a little bit of, kind of spicy rye bread flavour coming through. Sweetness to begin with, then that spiciness. Loads of that kind of grapefruit, lemon peel flavour. And then a nice bitterness on the back end. Let's see. If it indeed has got any rye, doesn't. Uh, pale two row, golden naked oats and cara pills. The hops are Columbus and Enigma and it's Vermont yeast using the beer. It's really good, really drinkable. Let's see what it's like with the crisps. Last Burt's crisps we reviewed on the channel with the sweet chili. I seen these in the supermarket. I thought Devon roast beef. Yeah, they look amazing. Looks like it's a collaboration between the Wellham Meat Company. Uh, Tasty tribute to the Sunday roast with British beef from the award-winning Wellham Meat Company. Finished with lashings of gravy flavour. Look at these. They look good. I like Bert's crisps there. Yeah, very good, very tasty. Mm. <laughs> My goodness me, they're really beefy. Reminds me of the old fashioned Oxo crisps you used to get years ago in the pubs. old-fashioned beef flavour that's just really quite full-on. Reminds me a little bit, they do the, the Guinness crisps, don't they, Bert's? 
How'd you go with the beer? Oh yeah, really good. Beer and crisps. Posh crisps as well. Posh beer, posh crisps. It's a it's a Monday night made in heaven. A rewarding combination of food and beer after after getting through the Monday blues. Lovely lacing on the glass. Lovely tasting beer. The crisp, the crunch, have a listen. Mmm. We got that deep fried crispy edge. Mm. Lovely, really good. I'm gonna rate I'm gonna rate the beer first. For a six percent pail. It's really good. I like the spiciness, I like the bitterness on the back end. That lemon flavour, a little bit of sweetness to begin with. Uh, they're a brewery that have been brewing beers for just over a year, I believe. And they seem to be improving with every single batch that they make. This pale enigma for me, by Overtone Brewing Company, is worth, I would say, an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. The crisps, meanwhile, the Burt's roast beef, what are they called? Devon roast beef crisps. They're worth an 8 as well. 8 out of 10. A good pairing, decent pairing. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.